Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is part four of my closet organization and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I store my dresses and skirts. I have a lot of dresses and skirts. It is the main thing that I wear. So I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks on how I store and organize my dresses and skirts. Okay, so my closet is all open upstairs in our attic. I just made this half of the room my entire closet so you can pretty much see everything when you walk into it. The main feature being my dresses and skirts. So they are hanging on these suspension rod and shelves that I got at Walmart actually. They are unavailable now. I got them a couple years ago, but I did find similar things to link below that you can get on Amazon that are basically the same thing. I have a large one that holds all my dresses and then a smaller one that holds the skirts. And there is a tiny bit of room on top. It is a shelf because I have slanted ceilings. I can't put too much, but it is where I put my pants. So the two main tips that I have for organizing dresses and skirts is getting hangers that are the same and going color order. You might not think that it makes a big difference, but if you want that picture perfect closet, then having uniform hangers is going to make a huge difference. It makes it look neater and it just, it brings me happiness to have everything all uniform and looking the same. And I would highly recommend that you do it as well. I will always recommend walmart.com to have the cheapest items for you. That's where I got these felt hangers and that's where I got my skirt hangers as well. They have nice things when you shop online. It's basically like Amazon, only it's way cheaper. So I'll be sure to link my hangers below as well. Then my next big tip is to color coordinate. This just makes a huge difference. I found this closet rainbow order somewhere online and then I decided to mirror it for my skirts. So once you go to the lightest, it bounces to the skirts and it goes mirrored order it goes reversed that way there's no clashing and restarting of the order so it was suggested to do patterns and stripes separately from everything else because it clashes in with the colors I have a lot of patterns so I just did black and white by themselves which leads into the black then dark gray light gray browns purples dark blue light blue turquoise to green yellow orange red to pink lighter pink nude and then white so then my skirts start at the same color white and then they go backwards to pink to red to orange green blue the whole bit a lot of my skirts are just patterns so then we kind of just ended up with a plaid section but then i end it with the darkest the blacks you definitely don't have to get specific skirt hangers. You can just fold them in half and then lay them over a regular hanger, but I wanted to be extra and get the specific skirt hangers. Of course, these are from walmart.com, so I will link them below. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how I store my skirts and dresses. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more closet organization, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I have an entire series in the works of how I organize and store all the other categories of my closet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.